Well, good afternoon and welcome. I certainly want to thank everybody uh, for joining us for today's event. The past several years have seen great change uh, in the industry and great innovations coming from Microsoft. We've helped usher in a new era of cloud computing. We've embraced mobility. We're redefining communications and attempting to transform entertainment. In all that we have done, Windows is the heart and soul of Microsoft. From Windows PCs to Windows servers to Windows phones and Windows Azure, Windows has proven to be the most flexible general purpose software ever created, spurring on an ecosystem of unrivaled success. When Microsoft was founded, our vision was bold and broad, a computer on every desk and in every home. And while certainly we are optimists to the core, Windows has exceeded even our most optimistic predictions. It now powers well over one billion PCs, from desktops to laptops to ATMs to NASA workstations and more, in homes, in businesses, in schools, and in governments literally around the world. With Windows 8, we've reimagined the Windows product. We reimagine Windows from the chipset to the user experience to power a new generation of PCs that enable new capabilities and new scenarios. We approached the Windows 8 product design in a forward-looking way. We designed Windows 8 for the world we know, in which most PCs are mobile and people want access to information and the ability to create content from anywhere, anytime. People want to do all of that without compromising the productivity that PCs are uniquely known for. From personal productivity applications to technical applications, business software, and literally millions of other applications that are written for Windows that work perfectly on Windows 8. We're incredibly gratified by the enthusiastic response to Windows 8 from our partners, our OEM partners, thousands of developers, and literally millions of people, consumers, who've downloaded our previews. Excitement is high with the new x86 and ARM SOC support, the new Metro user interface, and the new store all getting very broad interest. Today, we want to add another piece, another bit of excitement, and another piece to that Windows 8 story. At our foundation, Bill Gates and Paul Allen made a bet, a bet on software. At the same time, it was always clear that our unique view of what software could do would require us to push hardware, sometimes in ways that even the makers of the hardware themselves had yet to envision. That's the nature of the dynamic between hardware and software, pushing each other and pulling each other forward. In fact, our number one revenue product actually, the year I joined Microsoft, 1980, was a hardware product, something known as the soft card. Let's just take a little bit of a look back at the role of hardware at Microsoft. Microsoft's been making hardware for over 30 years. We have over 3,200 hardware patents. That's one every three days over our 30 years of history here in hardware. Think about a mouse. That was the first new type of input that you would interact with with a piece of software. It was so revolutionary for its time. Being able to work with the GUI in Word was why the mouse was invented. A piece of hardware that was so unique, it was so hard to find, Microsoft's like, oh, we can't get this, that we're going to have to do it ourselves. 
number one selling keyboard, just so much built into it. They just are so instrumental to how you work with the computer. Xbox made a huge dive into the gaming market. The same thing we did 30 years ago about making software come to life, we're doing that today with the new products. Hit our stride for sure when it comes to innovation. It is still about wow. Developing products that are going to touch the customer in a meaningful way. You know, I think the shapes are really cool. That's, that's the first thing that attracts me to them. It's a constant evolution. That's what makes this place special. That is what drives us every day. That's why we come into work and we work so hard every day. I'm personally very proud of Kinect. We are responsible for an awesome experience. But wouldn't it be cool if a gaming device could do that? We control it all, we design it all, we verify it all, we manufacture it all ourselves. I think it's about the desire to change the world. But well, we can do something that not many others can do. And what I see coming out of the hardware group today just blows my mind. As excited as I am about seeing people use our devices right now, I'm even more excited about the stuff we're developing for the future. We believe that any intersection between human and machine can be made better when all aspects of the experience, hardware and software, are considered and working together. Just let's take the mouse as an example. To be successful, Windows 1.0 really needed a mouse. So we built one. Early reviews of mice were not very positive as people struggled to understand the real value. In fact, actually, it was so new that Canadian Customs quarantined the Microsoft mouse at the border for four weeks, thinking that it was alive. Our most successful hardware product has been the Xbox. And with Kinect, we have created a whole new user experience. And now developers are pushing Kinect doing more exciting and even cooler things for both the game console and for Windows PCs. This combination of hardware, software, and peripherals in the Xbox case work together to deliver an absolutely amazing experience. We see that, con that sort of combination working also today in our PC ecosystem. We believe in the strength of that ecosystem, of software and hardware companies that work together to deliver selection and choice that makes your Windows experience uniquely your own. Those partnerships are essential to the reimagination of Windows. We've worked with the component companies, Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, and Texas Instruments. Of course, the ultimate landing point of this PC experience is through our partnerships with OEMs, HP, Dell, Asus, Acer, Samsung, Sony, Lenovo, Toshiba, and many, many more. They will deliver more PCs to market in the year 2013 than in any previous year. IDC estimates that number at over 375 million Windows PCs. That will ensure that software developers and content creators have a larger number of new systems to target with their Windows 8 applications than any other non-phone platform. However, with Windows 8, we did not want to leave any seam uncovered. Much like Windows 1.0 needed the mouse to complete the experience, we wanted to give Windows 8 its own companion hardware innovation. What is this innovation? It's something new. It's something different. It's a whole new family of computing devices from Microsoft.
is the new Microsoft Surface. It embodies the notion of hardware and software really pushing each other. People do want to create and consume. They want to work and they want to play. They want to be on their couch, they want to be at their desk, and they want to be on the go. Surface fulfills that dream. It is a tool to surface your passions, to surface your ideas, to surface your creativity, and to surface your enjoyment. I really want you to take the time today to get to know Microsoft Surface. So let's now learn more from Steven Sanofsky and the Microsoft Surface team. Just as we've reimagined Windows, we also have a vision for reimagining the tablet. We see a tablet that is designed the way that Windows has been designed. We see a tablet that represents a unique vision for the seamless expression of entertainment and creativity. A tablet that works and plays the way that you want to. A tablet that's a great PC. A PC that's a great tablet. A new type of computing, Surface. Surface is a stage for Windows. Surface is designed for the software experience to, take it, to have it take center stage. Surface is super thin at 9.3 millimeters. It's just thin enough for this full-size USB port, for peripherals or just charging your phone while you're at the hotel. The edges are beveled away at 22 degrees, so the PC itself fades into the background. It feels natural in your hands. Surface is the first PC with a full magnesium case. Through a unique process, the liquid metal is formed into an ultra-rigid yet ultra-light frame. It is incredibly and strong, yet it's airy at under 1.5 pounds, just 676 grams, and it's finely balanced. You know, we didn't stop there. The case is one of a kind. It's a, made from a physical vapor deposition process. It results in a permanent scratch and wear resistance surface. This vapor mag case is a first of a kind, and it accentuates the unique feel of Surface. Surface is, of course, great for entertainment. It has access to all of the Windows apps for music, for video, for Xbox, and gaming. We can see here I'm running Internet Explorer. I can browse smoothly, use, see great pages using, the, using clear type, and have a great experience just with, all the, with, with browsing. It's 10.6 inch optically bonded widescreen display is custom designed but for Surface. And of course, people play games. I can go and play any of the interesting games that are on, in the Windows Store, and I can use Surface for using all the sensors that are within Windows as well. Surface works for all of those games. Movies and entertainment look great as well. Oops. Hang on just a moment. There. Excuse me, just a second. Surface works great for entertainment as well. In fact, I'm going to show here for the first time a very exciting new application. This is the Netflix application designed specifically for Windows 8. Now, with the widescreen, you get 30% more viewing area and no banding or letterboxing like you traditionally see. I'm happy to show this new Netflix application, give you an early look how it's designed specifically for Windows 8 with semantic zoom. And Netflix will have this ready at the Windows 8 launch. I can go here and start a movie and see it stream straight to my Surface PC, just like you would expect. Now, to stream so well, Surface needs great Wi-Fi. Surface is the first tablet to in incorporate dual 2x2 two two MIMO antennas. That means it provides the very best Wi-Fi reception of any tablet today. Surface is incredibly great for Windows and for entertainment PC. And you know, we're just getting started. Today, when you have your tablet and you want to be entertained, you have to hold it. You're always sitting in an awkward position or 
Perhaps you have to choose from a seemingly endless variety of add-on stands and cases that solve a relatively simple problem, but by adding weight, adding thickness. What if I just want to watch movie or listen to music and do something else? We think that this should be an integral part of the design. We think that a stand should be integral. So we built a stand into the device. This stand is made of the same vapor mag as the rest of the case, and it's completely integrated into the device. The hinge design is like that of the finest luxury car. And when not in use, it just fades away. No extra weight, no extra thickness, no separate add-on. It's integrated, just like the software and the hardware are integrated into Surface. And then once you have this kickstand, you can sit back and enjoy a truly hands-free experience. You know, you could go and just put the, put the Surface on a table, lay back and watch a movie. And that's really what entertainment should be about with a Surface. But you know, Surface is, is designed to be mobile. We designed Surface to be rugged and, and, and move around. But with Vapor Mag and Corning Gorilla Glass 2.0, you do not need to worry at all. But we know many people prefer to have some sort of cover, a cover that helps to just act like an easy on-off switch at least. So Surface has a cover. We designed the cover to be an integral element of the PC. We built a magnetic connector into the device to hold it very securely. So let me attach the cover. Click. You heard that. It's solid. Click. Close the cover. It's integrated into the device. It's made from a fine Northwest Polar Tech. It feels great in your hand, like a book. It just fits there. And when we looked at the whole surface on the cover, we challenged ourselves to do more. This cover is just three millimeters. Combined with surface, they're, over just, they're just over 12 millimeters. That's less than half an inch. And we said, why not do something with this surface? Why shouldn't we just take this surface and make it a full multi-touch keyboard? <laughs> this touch cover is not just a full multi-touch keyboard, but it's a modern trackpad with left and right buttons. It even has the keys for the Windows 8 Metro style UI. This keyboard combined with the kickstand formed the hallmark of just hands-on creativity. On average, typing is twice as efficient as typing on glass, and it's certainly more comfortable. Now, of course, the innovative on-screen keyboard in Windows is still there, and you can mix and match. The choice is really gonna be yours. Just put them on the table, and you've got a great stand. Let me go over here and show you a different surface. This surface is connected to external HDMI. That's built into the device. I'm gonna go here, and now I've got, surf I've got the touch cover connected. Now with front and rear facing cameras on this device, I can record a video. So I'm gonna start the camera application. So now I can go here, and, and I could tilt this around and angle it so I could see it. This camera is angled at 22 degrees. By angling it at 22 degrees, Everybody at the table, their head is perfectly framed into the picture. Or when I'm sitting at the seat, I can do a Skype call, and I'm perfectly framed. But this device also has Windows on it, or Office on it. So I go into the desktop, and I see, here's Word running. Now what's really neat is I could also have, using the multitasking capabilities, I could dock the, the camera app there, and now I can record a video or an interview and take notes. I could record myself and read from my notes. And that integration is really cool. In fact, I could even use the USB port and plug in an external speaker and, and microphone, even though it has dual array mics and dual speakers built in, and I could get super high quality recording. And so that's a quick look at, at, at Surface. Now there's so much more to show you today. Now imagine, if you will, that we took all of those capabilities of Surface and we built them so that you could, you could use all the applications that you're familiar with. You could use Photoshop or you could use other applications. Those applications would be built using the latest of the Intel Core processor. Now that in addition to the Surface that we're releasing today for Windows RT, we also have a Surface that's designed with these latest Intel processors. So in addition to working on the NVIDIA ARM processor, we're also working with, on a Surface for Windows 8 Professional. 
I'd like to introduce Mike Angiulo now, who's going to come up on stage and show us a little bit of the next generation of the next iteration of Surface. Thank you very much, Stephen. I am proud to introduce you to another member of the Surface family. This is Surface for Windows 8 Pro. The Windows ecosystem has always been about choice. And for the millions of professional desktop users out there, people who use their PC every day to design and to create things, this is a great choice for you. It shares the same design principles that Stephen was talking about. It's a stage for Windows. It shows the same pride in craftsmanship. It's less than two pounds and less than 14 millimeters. It's a full PC. Now, this also has a clear type display. Stephen's PC had a clear type HD. This is a clear type full HD display. And what that means is three things. It's a combination of a very specific pixel geometry, rendering, and an optical bonding process that together create the effect that your eye can't distinguish between the individual pixels at normal viewing distances. In this case, at 17 inches, less than arm's length. This clear type display also reduces Z height and conserves battery power. It has some of the other high performance features you saw too. It's got that two by two antenna technology. This is a first in tablets. It has dual high performance antennas and receivers so that you get the best Wi-Fi performance possible no matter how you hold it. It also has a chassis that's built out of that same durable and elegant vapor mag that enables features like the 0.7 millimeter thin kickstand, less than a millimeter. It's got the same compatible accessory spine that Steven had. So if you take a touch cover like he had, it just clicks in. It clicks in the same. It has that same designed in feeling because the entire Surface family of products was designed together. Even closed like this, this is still less than 17 millimeters. This PC has specs that rival those of the finest Ultrabooks that have ever been announced. And it delivers the power and the flexibility that you would expect of a high-end PC. This PC is powered by Intel's third generation Core i5 processor, the Ivy Bridge processor. This is their 22 nanometer process that results in a CPU that's faster, a GPU that has double the 3D graphics throughput, all while using less power than today's Core i5s. But with that power comes a unique design challenge. How do you design a PC that you might be holding in any different way or have a cover in the front and the back to integrate active cooling? There's no obvious place to put a vent. So here's our solution. This is called perimeter venting. You see this groove that goes all the way around the outside of the case? And there's a good shot of it up on the screen. This allows air to be uniformly distributed across the entire PC when necessary in a way that you never block it with your hands. In fact, you never even feel it, which makes the PC really comfortable to hold, which is really helpful when doing things like flipping back your keyboard and taking notes with digital ink. Surface for Windows 8 Pro supports digital inking. Windows apps um, of all kinds can support inking. So here what I've done is I can go back to the desktop and show you what I launched. I launched the Windows Reader. And this is a PDF file of one of Stephen's blog posts. So you can see I can pan and zoom. What I can really do here is I can come and I could do ink. I'm going to come and say this is great. Now, what you'll notice when I ink and I zoom in, as I zoom in, that ink stays smooth. That's because it's being sampled at 600 DPI. That's sub-pixel accuracy for ink. What that does is it keeps your handwriting very smooth, and uh, hopefully yours is a little better than mine. One of the neat things about this, too, is as I'm inking, from here, I can see the tip of the pen almost feels like it's writing exactly on the screen. Since the screen is optically bonded, we've eliminated the layers in between the thin cover glass and the screen, so it feels like you're inking right on the page. The distance between the stylus and where I see the ink is only 0.7 millimeters. That's the thinnest and closest distance of any tablet PC, any inking tablet ever. Now, one of the other things that's going on here is as I'm moving my hand, you see the page is not moving underneath my hand. That's because Windows has palm block technology. This surface 
has two digitizers. It has one for touch and a separate one for digital ink. And what happens is, is when I bring the pen close to the screen, Windows sees the proximity of the pen and stops taking touch input so my hand doesn't mess up what I'm writing. And when I'm done with the pen, you can see the little magnetic charging connector there. It just clicks in. So that's one of the, the cool things on Surface for Windows 8 Pro in inking. I got one. <laughs> Thanks. The apps that I'm showing you, they look really great in the native resolution of the screen, the 1080 resolution. But if you want to unlock the highest possible resolutions that Ivy Bridge supports, even higher resolutions that are possible um, via HDMI out, we have DisplayPort. So now with DisplayPort, I can take this PC, I can dock it, and I basically have a full professional workstation with the power of a desktop PC. I have one here that's plugged in and synced up to the show monitor. And this kind of a PC is powerful enough to run big applications, applications like Photoshop, Autodesk, SolidWorks, enterprise applications that require a TPM chip. In this case, I'm going to copy some high-res photos onto the PC and edit them in Adobe's Lightroom. So I'm copying onto the desktop. And what you'll see here, this is a five-second copy. That's a whole gigabyte. That's a whole gigabyte of pictures that just copied in five seconds. Service has support for really fast USB 3.0 and the new USB super speed drives. A gigabyte file copy in five seconds is five times faster than USB 2.0, which, which makes sense with this PC because you'll be using it to do big jobs, whether you're editing big photos like this um, or you're dealing with big video files or you're doing, you know, in Stephen's case, a big job might be typing a super long blog post that you may have read. Service is up for the task. Now, let's say you are, in fact, doing one of those um, big typing jobs. You've seen already, Stephen talked a little bit about touch cover and the improvements it makes for typing. But let's say you're a really fast touch typist, or maybe you just prefer the feel of tactile keys. Well, we've got another Surface choice for you. This is Surface Type Cover. It shares the same full pitch layout as touch cover, but what we've done is we've taken a key switch that has a one and a half millimeter travel, and we built it into the thinnest possible package so you can touch type on the, I can touch type on this as fast as I can touch type on any keyboard. Fully compatible with Windows, you see the shortcut keys here. It has a full modern trackpad with clicking buttons, and this completes the Surface family of products. I'd like to pull all the Surface family together all at one point. Um, Pontus, would you join us with the colors of touch cover? Surface for Windows RT. Surface for Windows 8 Pro, and a handful of the touch cover colors that we're going to have at launch. That's the complete Surface family. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. Now, that's how we feel, too, in Panos especially. Panos Panay is the leader of the team that created Surface and has some great stories and some more detail about the product mm -hmm. and how it came to be. It's Thanks. all yours. Thank you. Thanks. Super cool. Super cool. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I am uh, unbelievably humbled right now and, and flattered to be up here. And, but truthfully, I'm, rep I'm recognizing an entire team that's back in Redmond right now waiting to see your blog posts. Uh, to see what you have to say. We, we have a team full of designers, uh, development engineers, manufacturing engineers, uh, hardware testers, uh, all working on these products right now as we speak. Before I get into what I'm going to talk about today, I'm just going to show you a little bit more about the design, show you a little bit more about the culture of how these products were built, because I think it might be interesting for you to hear that. I really want to share with you more of our team. So just watch this video really quick, and I'll be right back. It's an incredible moment when an idea that we had after so many months working really hard turns into a product. We brought some of the best people at Microsoft together to make this awesome device. One of the things that really drives us isn't that, oh, what a great idea. It's what a great idea and we can build it. The collaboration between the disciplines was this outstanding. We had a full-blown team of researchers, engineers, 
user researchers, industrial designers, interaction designers that all work together. We couldn't ask for a better team than what we have right now. Super important to not only care about the big idea, but also to care about the smallest details. It takes iteration to build the best device possible. Each time we made one of those revisions, we got progressively better and better. It took months and months and months of prototyping. We found it pretty exciting, complex. The technology was amazing. You start to realize that what we're making here is really special. The first reactions will be, wow. You put the entire system together for the first time. I think that was a wow moment. When you pick this unit up, you viscerally understand that it's high quality. A PC that is everything you would want in a tablet device for consuming content. The next moment you can be uh, crafting an email or writing a term paper. When you're able to connect you know, some sort of user experience to bits all the way down to Atom. That's where you start really seeing uh, new experiences evolve. I think you find that's a, that's a pretty powerful product. You're very proud of it. <laughs>
get our product design, and create life out of it. You can see the breakout behind me. Let me just explain a few things that we have going on. I'm holding up my room key. It feels weird to hold up my room key. But if you look at this quickly, what you'll see is 0.77 millimeters of thickness. This is an important point. If you can't see it, that's all right. Same as a credit card, pull it out. Your credit card's likely somewhere between 0.75 or 0.85 millimeters thick. It's just to illustrate a point. Vapor mag is a process where we start with an ingot of magnesium and we melt it down to a molten state. We then injection mold the magnesium through some tools and we're able to actually mold the intricate details that are needed for surface. We mold down to 0.65 millimeters of thickness in any given part, 0.75. We mold to 0.65. This is important to understand because for us to get to the design we needed for this product, to get the kickstand integrated seamlessly and hold this line throughout the product, we had to be able to mold to those tolerances. Every micron matters within Microsoft Surface. We've actually stacked up every part from designing from the inside out so tightly in the product and so cleanly that even if you stuck a piece of tape in the middle of the device, it would bulge. It would bulge out. That tells you how strong this product is, how much strength comes with it, how light it feels in your hands. All those parts play into each other. The best part about Vapor Mag is not just that we can mold the 0.65 and get the intricate details like the 0.65 millimeter angles that go around the product, these radii. The best part is the smoothness of the finish that comes out of the tools. After approximately 152 steps to get the Vapor Mag looking just like you see now, you find that the surface finish on this product, and as Mike says, pride and craftsmanship, is perfect. It's seamless. It screams watch quality finish, and when you put it in your hands, it feels elegant. When you touch it, you're gonna wanna hold it. I promise you. Now I'm proud of Vapor Mag, and I'm proud of the team for the product that they've done, but nothing, nothing stirs me more. Nothing gets me more excited than touch, touch cover. I really wanna walk you through touch cover for just a few moments. This is an important technology that came out of our group. I'm gonna walk you through it in two ways. The first way is through the experience. And the second way I'm gonna talk about is the technology. Let's do the experience first. Let me explain to you what we try to do with touch cover from the get-go. You'll notice I'm gonna connect it now to my blue touch cover. So I just click it in as you would expect. The surface turns blue along with my touch cover and you have a beautiful integration of hardware and software. My surface knows what is connected to it. I can now bring to life the vision that is touch cover for this product. The vision that lets you produce content when you want it, how you want it, as fast as you've always done it. That's what this product was designed for. Let me give you one more second on this on a little bit of the experience. The thing that was so critical for us in creating touch cover was that it had to be three millimeters thin. This essentially is at odds of any other keyboard you've used and still have a great typing experience. It also had to be a cover you wanted to connect, something you always had with you, something that gave you confidence, just like the kickstand, to bring this product to life. We've designed a flux fountain of magnets in this product. That's a combination of alignment and clamping magnets. You could actually never miss connecting this device. You can't miss. We force you to not miss. We do that to give you confidence. You close it, it feels like a book. We designed this organically like a book. We wanted it to feel just like that. What has more covers on it than books themselves? This spine feels like a book. When you put it in your hand and you walk away with your product, you'll hold it like a book. When you carry it against your books, it'll feel like it's another book. It's just light enough and it feels just perfect. Now, that said, I think you're gonna fall in love with touch cover, I know I have. I mean, I am seriously in love with it. Outside of my wife, touch cover is number two. It's very important to me. Now, I never wanna take touch cover off, and I'd argue that you don't need to, and you never have to. You saw Mike move his touch cover to the back. Now, when he did that, I'm sure every single one of you thought, like, wait a minute, how do you move it to the back? Well, touch cover is pretty smart, it has an accelerometer built into it. 
The moment you fold it back, we know you fold it back. We know when you're not using it, and it's turned off for you. So you never have to take it off. And underneath your fingertips, it feels great. So now you've got a comfortable device with touch cover that's yours. It's personalized to you. You saw the beautiful colors that we have coming to market. And essentially, what's brought to you is an experience like none other with touch cover and surface together. Now, I showed you the experience, but I want to just show you the technology because it really is important that you understand it. And quite frankly, we have a bit of a mad scientist who many of you know named Stevie Batiche. Stevie actually invented touch cover. The fact that we have 30 years of input experience using mice and 15 years creating keyboards, we really understand how to create a great typing experience. We also knew that if we brought you touch cover and touch cover wasn't any good, boy, what a breaking moment. But we've actually evolved this technology to a point through Stevie and his work to come to a place where we've brought you an experience that's amazing at typing. There's actually seven layers squeezed in, pressed right into touch cover to keep it three millimeters thin. Now that's super thin, but critical for you to have a great experience when folding it back. Let me explain to you how the technology works just ever so slightly and quickly. So what you're going to see is I'm going to put my hands down on this uh, uh, machine here. What you're seeing is this is Surface for Windows RT, and my hands are down on touch cover. You'll notice that my hands are laying flat on touch cover right now, yet nothing's happening. If this was, in fact, a capacitive screen, or the phone you might have in your pocket, or some other device you might have, the keyboard would take up half the screen, and you put your fingers down, and it would look something like that. Now, that's me actually pressing on touch cover, and it knows the grams of force coming off my fingertips onto touch cover. Why is this critical? When you type in touch type speed, you have to find your home position and rest your hands. To do that, your keyboard can't fire when you put your hands down. It's comfortable, you can rest your hands, and note as I put pressure on the J key, how the pressure goes up as I push harder, and as I release, the pressure comes off. It's actually measuring every gram of force coming off my fingertips, and as I start to type, it knows how many keys I've hit. This keyboard actually measures 10 times faster in scanning from a keyboard matrix than any keyboard guaranteed that you use today. It is super fast and brings great, great opportunity for you to be productive and get stuff done. Obviously, I have a lot of pride in this product. I hope you love it. I can't wait for you to get your hands on it back there, and I really mean that. Stephen, thanks for having me up here today. That was a moment for our team, for sure. I do want to talk a little bit about some availability and pricing information and things like that that I know, that I know people want to know. Surface for Windows RT, oh, and there, I still say there'll be much more information available on the web and uh, um, available shortly. So Surface for Windows RT will be available in both a 32 and a 64 gigabyte model and will be priced like comparable tablets that are based on ARM. Surface for Windows 8 Professional will come in 64 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte storage models and will have a retail price comparable with competitive Ultrabook class PCs. Additional specifics on pricing and packaging will be announced as we get closer to retail availability. Now, of course, retail availability for the Surface PCs will be around the time of, uh, will be at the, for the Windows RT PC, will be at the time of the Windows 8 general availability and for Windows 8 Pro about three months later. Surface will be available through the Microsoft's physical stores here in the US and will be available through, select online, through the select online outlets of the Microsoft Store as well. So welcome everybody to Surface. I just want to invite Steve Ballmer back up on stage one more time and thank you, thank you very much. I want to thank Stephen and Mike and Panos uh, and their team. Uh, this has been an unbelievable uh, journey. We've invested significantly, uh, as you can see, in talent, in time, in capital to bring the surface to market. I was asked in the, the last few days here, why now? Why now? We took the time to really get 
Surface and Windows 8 right. To do something that was really different and really special. We're very proud, very, very proud of the Surface, just like we're very proud of Windows 8. Because of Windows 8, because of Windows 8, the Surface is a PC. The Surface is a tablet. And the Surface is something new that we think people will absolutely love. We really want those of you here to have a chance to see and touch the Surface and talk with some of the people who are involved in designing the product. We have several stations set up next door where you can see the work that went into the creation of the Surface. And uh, we hope you'll, you'll stay and join us for that. Uh, today has been uh, fun for us to put on for you. Very, very exciting. And I want to thank you all for being part of today's event. Thanks.